welcome back. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. And just as I mentioned in my last video, my last haul video from Bath and Body Works, I am coming now today for you and uh, my candle, three wick candle obsession, I mean collection from Bath and Body Works. And I counted, I have 104. These are actual ones that I'm either burning currently, which there's only two right now. So 102 of them are not even burnt. I tend to go through a candle from start to finish. I'm a little OCD, so I can't handle putting away a candle. There's Willow. She's doing good, by the way. Um, I can't handle putting a candle halfway done away. It bothers me. I'm like kind of like Monica from Friends, if you will. I don't have that closet, though, that she just j jammed all of her junk in. That I don't have. So, have this is by sta stating, all purchased with my own money. This is a collection that I have been collecting for quite a few, well, probably about three years now. So you'll see some candles that I have lids on them because I personally put lids on them. When I started hearing about the whole lid candle crisis, um, I started saving my lids, the ones that were fairly basic, and then any of the ones that you'll see that no normally have lids, I have put a lid on them because clearly I need space to store all of this. Super hot here today, oh my god, and I've just literally moved 102 out of the 104 candles down from closets and such. So I am not going through descriptions, I am literally just going to show you what I have, 104 candles. So let's start off with my most recent candles, I guess we'll go to, to the end uh, as my older candles and hopefully I can get this done in one video. If I can't, there will be a part two. So I have two pumpkin pies the season. I have one vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This year's caramel pumpkin swirl. Two autumns. Mm, beautiful. This year's leaves. This year's sweater weather. I said it right the first time, yeah. I'm not competitive at all. No, I just row and volunteer at a fire department with all guys, I'm the only girl. So yeah, I'm not competitive at all. Uh, anyway, Marshmallow Fireside. This year's Marshmallow Fireside. I have a total, I'm not gonna show all three because I don't wanna break them. Three of the wine cellar that to me smell like smoke berries and incense and myself and the bad enabler here on YouTube both feel the same way. I absolutely agree and I absolutely love it. I have, a, again, a total of three Harvest Gatherings from the Cork and Vine Collection. Sun Drenched Vineyard, Napa Valley Sunset, Citron Cedarwood, Black Cherry Merlot, Sparkling Pear Riesling, which I will pick up more, probably two more of those as well. I, it's probably one of my favorites as well. Sonoma Spice Citrus, which to me smells like a smoked tomato. I don't know. Beach Cabana. This year's Beach Cabana. Two Summer Boardwalks, one of which I am burning currently. Not this exact second, but I am burning this. Uh, it is out to be burnt, so two of those. Two Lighthouse, two Suntans from this year. I never got my hands on the old Suntan. I really hope I do someday get the chance that they bring it back out or something because I would love to smell the old one because apparently it is different. So uh, Pop Tales Collection, a la Margarita, Twisted Caramel Gelato, Banana Kiwi Colada, Mango Coconut Cooler, and you'll notice here in Canada we didn't get anything in layers, but I mean I got the banana one which apparently is really tough for some Americans. Uh, we don't have a white bar barn so I'm thinking that Canadian stores are acting like a, a white barn store, I'm not sure. So anyway, none of these had any layers in them, so just like online I think. So Mango Coconut Cooler, Spiked Cherry Limesicle. Lemoncello pop tail. Then we're on to a new one, Beach Breeze. Sunkissed Days. 
Seaside Mimosa. All right, next set. <laughs> oh my God, it's five minutes. All right, pineapple mango. Pineapple sunset, sunrise, not set, sunrise. Coconut leaves, one of my favorites. Add the margarita, very nice. Georgia peach. Praline pecan cobbler. I'm burning this one in conjunction with the summer board walk together in my big great room because they're almost similar. One just got a little more sweetness, like more nutty, which this one is. I have two of these. Uh, beautiful day. And one of my favorites, watermelon lemonade. Okay, these again don't supposed to have uh, lids. Coconut vanilla. I did not enjoy this. I burnt. I had a total of three of them. I burnt two, and I did not enjoy it. Turquoise waters. There's something about that vanilla. I think. Rainforest gardenia. That's my cat wanting out. Willow. That's okay. And we have island tiare flower. Okay. Lanakai coconut, one of my favorites. Like seriously, sand and sunscreen, like it's gorgeous, love it. Uh, nectarine green tea, this is kind of odds and ends, what I have. I have a watermelon lemonade back in the old packaging. Strawberry sorbet, sorry, just ignore Willow. She's not dying, she just came in. She's in that, it's sunny and warm outside, so she's in and out all the time, but she can, she can, she's fine. So market peach, marshmallow fireside in the packaging that came out last fall. Gorgeous, gorgeous lids. Um, and on an end, fresh water and sea salt. Thought the concept was nice. I like, I live by the ocean, Pacific Ocean, so I do enjoy those scents. And the only two that I enjoyed from this particular line was home. And I think I bought a total of like four of these and burnt all but one. Same with the smile candle had great throw. I know there was a lot of reviews out there that people didn't get a great throw from it. Beautiful. I've had a total of about, I guess a total of four of these at one point. Now I'm just down to one each. So we have a caramel pumpkin swirl from last year. Willow. Hey, here's a trick. Anyway, Big Bang Theory um, TV show lovers, listen to this. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Hey, she comes to this every single time. Yes, you do. You're a good cat. You're just like my dog. She's like a dog, really. She will fetch, she will, um, she'll, I'll whistle for her outside. She comes a running. No, oh, she's a good kitty cat. She's 12, but she acts like she's two, right? Yeah. All right, give me a couple minutes. <laughs> uh, pumpkin cupcake. Oh, spice pine, uh, pumpkin cider, beautiful candle. Love it, I wish I bought more of them. The white sand beaches. Cologne, yeah, yeah. could live without it. Hawaiian hibiscus, pineapple palm grass, sweet Maui mango, palm leaves, endless weekend, which I just finished burning two of these. Beautiful, bought lots of those. Ocean driftwood. Palmelo Paradise. Spice Pineapple Samba. I don't have to show you the lids on the Spice Pineapple Samba. Sorry, I was getting into a groove. Uh, mango Dragon Fruit. Loved that one too. There's something about it I just liked very much. Copa Cabana Beach. Rainforest Gardenia. Not a floral person, but I really like this. In conjunction with Beach Cabana. Beach Cabana, I really enjoyed the two of them together. An old leaves, a white born uh, leaves. Last year's mahogany teakwood. Ooh, nine minutes, we're getting there guys. Sweater weather from last year. Mahalo Maui, went to Maui just a few months ago. Oh, 
god, I would go back there in a heartbeat. Absolutely loved it. Uh, American Boardwalk from that same collection. And Aloha Waikiki. London Calling. Been there too. Beautiful place. Busy, busy. Smells good. The Dolce Candle from the Italian line from a couple years ago. Vanilla Bergamot. Espresso Bar. Gelato. Bourbon Butterscotch. Last fall, I believe those ones came out. My banana nutmeg bread pudding, I missed you. Hmm. I have one left. Please bring it back. Also another one I enjoyed, vanilla chai. Again, like I mentioned before in other videos, absolutely love chai lattes. There's all the warm spices and it's very comforting for me, I think. Sea salt and maple popcorn, which kind of smells like summer boardwalk and many other candles that they have made. Um, holiday apple crisp, that's all from last winter. The cinnamon frosting, mm, smells exactly like name. One of my favorite types of ice cream, mint mocha bark or chocolate chip mint ice cream. Love that. I did buy a few of those too. The cinnamon and clove buds. Beautiful. I can only have to light one of those in this entire place. It's completely filled with cinnamon and cloves. Gourmet espresso, just like the espresso bar from the Italian collection. Last collection, guys. Oh, we're getting there. Vanilla bean marshmallow. Nice. Iced almond chai, which is different. It actually does have more of a milky uh, scent to it to me, to the other chai latte. Cherry blossom sangria. Sparkling limeade. Tequila lime cupcake. Strawberry rhubarb marmalade. Mm. Ah. Cinnamon sugar donut. <laughs> Peach bellini. And last but not least, watermelon lemonade. I have it in about three different versions. All right, to keep this as short as I can, just want to let you guys know I spoke with my local Bath and Body Works manager here on Vancouver Island in Canada. Um, and she was saying something about all Bath and Body Works in Canada are going to start being Americanized, I think. And when I was talking to her and I talked to her about the white, like white born exclusive candles and things like that. And I said, does that mean that we're going to get like, because some of the candles you'll have seen, I have that, are, that were exclusive to white barn in the States. Yes, it sounds like whatever the, you, sorry, I've been rowing and my hands are ripped up. Sorry guys. Um, whatever the, the, uh, the folks down in the States are getting at their white barn or their bath and body works, we're getting under the umbrella of uh, bath and body works here in Canada. So FYI, some great news. I don't know how soon that's going to happen, but they said it's going to be very soon. So we will start to see here in Canada, some of the candles, uh, that are white barn exclusive ones for sure that the, the United States, uh, citizens get to have on or, you know, whenever they're near, I know they're, those white barns are not that close to, um, a lot of people. So anyway, super excited. Clearly I don't need any more candles, but I love them. And yes, I am a volunteer firefighter in my local fire hall and I have 104 three wick candles, but burn it safe. Never leave a candle unattended and you'll be great. You guys have a great day and I really hope you enjoy this. Please comment below and let me know what your favorite candle scent is. That would be great guys. Take care.